up guys? Thanks for joining me. Kat Ray here. So for last week's video, we built this butcher block. This butcher block is for Josh and when you buy a first when you first buy a butcher block, it comes very very dry. So for this video, we're going to be doing a oil and conditioning to this to make it healthy and basically last longer. So let me show you. Here we go, guys. So the most important thing to do when you are conditioning your butcher block is to pick a food safe oil. We picked mineral oil. You can see it's kind of an old bottle, but mineral oil is very, very food safe because man, you don't want to use something that's going to make people sick. But we take the food safe oil, we take this soft rag and we'll just put a layer on it and see how it does. We'll come back in about an hour or half an hour to an hour and we'll check it. Okay, so we got the mineral oil. We're just gonna dump it here in the middle. Put a big pile there. Oh, that probably looks good. Take our really soft rag. We'll just rub it on. Mm, it's prettier already. Yeah, you can see it's already soaking in. I'm gonna have to put there some more. Tons. Yep, gotta be doing more. Mm. Let's put it around the edge, just so we don't have to scoot it on the outside. There we go. One thing I should point out is the butcher block is really, really thick. And you want to make sure to get it all around the sides of it. It's like you get it on, it looks like it's thick, and then like two seconds later, it's soaked in. So we're going to be doing this conditioning a couple of times just because it's brand new. But once you have it and it's being used, you need to do the conditioning probably about once a month. And that's to get a nice thick patina over the top so it's just healthy and very, very usable. Okay, well, I think we got a good, nice coat over this. We'll come back, like I said, about an hour and a half, or excuse me, about a half an hour to an hour, and we'll check it. So it's been 30 minutes. I'm gonna have Josh come up here with the camera to show you. We layered this really, really thick with the mineral oil. You can see how it's all dry. So we Man, definitely are gonna be putting on it. some more right layers. Yep. So, let's take the mineral oil and we'll just dump it all over. Okay, got a nice thick layer on there. We'll come back in about half an hour and we'll check it. So it's been another 30 minutes, actually kind of 40 minutes, but if you look at it, still looking pretty dry. You can see a little bit of grease on there, or I should say oil, but round th three, here we go. Well, it is looking much, much better. We'll leave this one on and come and check it. Okay, so we have done this three times. And now once we came up here, it's starting to kind of pull up. So I think we're done doing this. Now we're gonna take a dry paper towel, just kind of rub it in, rub around the sides again. And then we'll leave it overnight and it'll be ready to use. That's good. Sweet, all done? Now that I'm all done with my butcher block, let me show you a little bit about the care of the butcher block. So once you're done with it, just like a countertop, use some sort of antibacterial soap to keep it nice and clean. 
if it's getting some smells in it and you need it to really deep disinfect it, you can use some vinegar that will do some disinfecting it rid of smells. But if you happen to get like a stain or something, you can use some lemon juice and salt and scrub it really good and that should pull out the stain. So remember, work hard, play hard. We'll see you on the next project.